No. <laughs> My adorable mono pubs. Um, welcome back to my let's play of Dang Rampa V3, Killing Harmony. <laughs> In the last part, Gonta was found guilty. Gonta died. He killed Mew. And then it was like kind of revealed that Kukich is like, quote unquote, evil. But I don't really think so. Also, um, Monofanny gave birth <laughs> to a giant ass bug, which killed her and then killed Mono Taro. And now, as you see, all Mono Cubs are dead. Little Mono Taro, little Mono Funny, little Mono Dumb, and the rest. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, like, those three are probably my favorites. Like, the other two, I don't really give a shit about. Oh, why did you have to die? Your lives were irreplaceable. <laughs> My grief is piling up like freshly fallen snow. <laughs> Speaking of freshly fallen snow, it's snowing outside right now. So I'm very cold. Um, also, you might hear some wind and stuff in the background. Probably not. Hopefully, the game audio and my own audio will cover that. But just in case you do, just know. It is I told them, make the most of your life. Because you only get one shot. Shot at it! Mm. And once it's over, nothing can replace it! Oh, why did they take their lives for granted? It's actually a pretty positive message. If only they cared about their lives, they would have worked harder to earn my life. Okay, no. <laughs> it's all their fault! Bad stuff always happens to kids whose parents don't love them. So it's your fault, actually. <laughs> I don't know. They just cause unnecessarily, unnecessary like shit. What's an irreplaceable life anyway? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Chapter five: Voyage without passion or purpose. Okay. Now I got a real talk for a second about chapter five. <laughs> I have been dreading this chapter for a while now, um, because if you remember in Goodbye Despair, Chapter 5, I feel like we all know what happened there. I'm not going to talk about that, but you you know, you know, right? Yeah, you, you know what happened. You know how I reacted. And um, I feel like it might, so, something similar might happen again, because I have two children <laughs> on the line. And I fear the worst. So. Yeah, just know. I've been dreading this chapter for a while. But we're here. We gotta move forward. And just know that there may be tears shed. If something happens to them. The morning after Gonta was declared the blackened. We gathered in dining hall as always. Kokichi's not here. As always? No, how could that be? With everything that happened yesterday. Oh. Mm. Yeah, a lot happened. Holy shit. Even such a dark time, one of us was so bright, trying to cheer us all up. Jeez. Jeez, don't be stupid, guys. There's no way I'd die, you know. I'm Kaito Momota, Luminary of the Stars. Yes. Hey! Are you really okay? Got it. I'm telling you, I'm just fine. I wasn't feeling great yesterday, but after a good night's sleep, I'm all better. Huh. I'm 100% better now. But... But there's no way to get better so quickly after coughing up that much blood. Ah. I told you, didn't I? I just coughed too much and cut my throat a little bit. That's all. Um... Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? Or suffering from a chronic illness? Idiot. Don't be stupid. If I had chronic illness, I wouldn't stand a chance in astronaut training. Yeah, you have a chronic illness. Seriously, you guys are worrying too much. Just because you all love me and can't help yours can't help yours. <sighs> of course we'd be worried. Yeah. 
My bad. But I'm serious. You don't need to worry about me anymore. I should have told you guys I wasn't feeling well. I made you worry for nothing. Come on, man. Uh, okay, don't glare at me like that. <laughs> if I do start to feel bad again, I'll have you guys help me, okay? Now that that's out of the way, let's eat. Yeah, come on, guys, let's all eat. Kaido spoke cheerfully, then left to go get his meal. Is there really nothing wrong? No, he's sick. That's what I saw yesterday. How can I act like nothing's wrong? Hmm. Despite Kaito's remarks, he should probably have medical attention just in case. I guess. Now, we've got another reason why we need to get out of here. Okay. And on top of that, we need to do it fast. Sorry about that. <laughs> we still don't know the, what the secret to the outside world is either. Um... Gondo wouldn't tell us what it was because it'd give us too much to spear where you want to die. What was that? It, if it's true, then what could possibly be happening outside this academy? Kaido returned to the table, his hand full of food. I mean... We can't figure that out just thinking about it, so there's no point wasting your brain power. But... But we can't simply not think about... You know... Sure, there's a chance the outside world is messed up because of Monokuma. But making us worry about it is what Monokuma wants. He's using it to pressure us. Kokichi and Gana just snapped under that pressure. Guess that world is probably fine. No. You. You're such an op... Timid... Op... Optometrist. I think she means op optimistic. Can you prescribe some rose-colored glasses for me too? Uh, I think you mean optimist. But you know... Either way, there's something to think about... What? There's something to think about once we get outside. So focus on that now. Shuichi! As a detective, what are your thoughts on this, Shuichi? Uh, okay. I've considered a few theories, but I can't say for sure. You're right. Well, that's understandable. There are barely any clues. Yeah. Since the incident yesterday, Kaido won't look me in the eye. Oh, Kaito. He still must be angry. Okay, I'll be honest. Last class trial, a little bit pissed off at Kaito for voting for Kokichi. N not just because he's my son and all that, like, that besides his point. The fact that he willingly went out of his way to vote incorrectly, even though he knew it was Gonta, was extremely selfish to like that way I interpreted that. I know he was trying to be like, oh, I believe in Gonta, but he was willing. If he convinced everyone else to vote wrong, every single person would have died. Like I get you want to believe in people, but like there has to be a line. And uh, so yeah, so Gonta can be angry all he wants. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> But I had no choice. I had no other option. Yeah, see? We had to do what we had to do. My deduction wasn't wrong. It wasn't. And Kaito almost got everyone else killed if he convinced everyone otherwise. If I hadn't identified Gonta as a culprit, we all would have been dead. Exactly. For the rest of us to survive, Gonta had to be sacrificed. There was nothing I could do. Hey, so... I'm glad we're talking about how to escape, but where did he go? Kokichi. Huh? Uh, the instant Kaido spoke his name, a nerve, a, a nervous energy shot through us. No! I, I haven't seen him. Even if I did, I'd be the one running away. Hmm. I haven't seen him either. It's like he has completely vanished. Hmm. He's apparently really good at hide and seek, so he's probably just hiding somewhere. We can't just let that person be. He's a little too dangerous. No, not just a little, because he... He enjoys watching us suffer. His face just screams that he's having fun whether he see, whenever he sees us suffer. He's not normal. There's obviously something wrong with him. No. This is all just oh, an act, annoying. I think. If we weren't in this killing game, I would assassinate him already. Okay, Maki, don't do not do that. <laughs> Ironic. The world of this killing game actually makes it harder to kill. Hey! Maki, well, that's not good. Playing this killing game is just what Monokuma wants us to do. <sighs> I know. Yeah? Is Maki, well, a nickname for Maki? That's a good nickname. 
<laughs> it makes me want to take a bite out of her with a soy sauce and spicy mustard. Right, Makirol? Oh. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I guess I don't know how close we are just yet. Hey! Hey, if we don't do anything, we'll be killed by Gokichi next. No, he's not gonna kill anyone. I bet even now, he's hiding somewhere plotting against us. No. No, actually, we're safe right now. Kukichi told us his objective was to win the killing game. He wouldn't risk a murder that would so obviously implicate him. That too. But... But he might be planning to make us suffer some other way. Like how he used Gonta. Anyway, we need to find him as soon as... You walk in. Oh. Yoo-hoo! Here I am! Yeah! I'm Monokuma! Why? What are you doing here? <laughs> I get business with you guys, of course. What's the point? It's our prize, right? Hurry up and give it to us. Okay! Can do! Hmm. You're being awfully comp... Comp... Compliant. I cannot oh, read. Yeah. Of course! I can't confuse you all. Not when I'm all alone and outnumbered. Oh, true, right. All of his kids are dead. Huh? Outnumbered? Well... But I'm used to being alone. Back in the day, I was alone from the start to finish. That's true. <laughs> anyway, here's your prize this time. Oh, two keys. You get two keys! This one is the last real key, and this one is the real last key! Huh? The last real key and the real last key. Okay, great. Well, what's the difference? Well, one looks high tech. The other looks like a skeleton key, kind of. Now then. Now then, go find the areas that these keys will unlock. Bye-bye. See you later. Bye, Inara. Oh, fuck. Don't be talking like Andrew now. Look, I'm done with that to a bullshit. We are not going back to that. What should we do? So what should we do about this new area? I... I think we should prioritize searching for that new area over searching for Kokichi. It's likely contain a flashback light, and we may discover some new facts. Why, you... So you're saying humans are low priority? Typical for a bloodless, tearless machine man. Um... I I'm not sure we're close enough for you to be making jokes like that. Hey. What do you want to do, Kaito? Yeah. I'm worried about Kokichi, but there's no point in worrying about him all the time. All right. All right. First priority is to solve the mystery of the academy. Let's investigate. Then. Uh, oh, I'll hold on to that. Uh, okay. Oh, that's right. Without meeting my eyes, Kaito placed a key into my palm. Mm -hmm. Kaito, Shuichi, what's the matter? You both seem different lately. Well. I read the mood, Kibo. It's fine. Let's just go already. Is he really gonna be like pissed at us this whole time? We split up and begin our search. Oh, Kaito. Okay. Um, where are we going? Let's check the map first. Um, oh, that's really close from here, right? Where? Okay. I think it's. This way. Level up. Um, yeah. Oh, this door, right? I forgot about this door. This one? Aha! Clack. It's unlocked. Alright, let's go. The key. It's still here. Can it be used for something else? Oh! Oh, so it's two... Th okay. Spiral staircase. I can see a spiral staircase. It looks pretty long. Hey. Where'd the staircase lead? Um, oh. Can I go over here? No. Okay. I totally thought there was going to be a, like, Monokuma there. But okay. Um... Oh. Um... Holy shit. Oh my god, this is confusing as well. Okay. Okay. Are we there yet? What, where the fuck? I totally thought it was a platform. Wait. Cool. This is a pretty long staircase. Where's Lee? Holy shit. Okay. Okay. It's fine. It, it's it's fine. It's long. Long staircase is long. It's... Oh my god, here we are. Oh, like, fuck me. <laughs> Phew, finally reached the top. I feel as if there's something there. It's best to be cautious. Where? 
Do you mean like, you know? Oh god, imagine, oh well, actually that's not that far because this guy's there. <laughs> I was gonna be like, imagine someone got pushed off that. But that, oh! Kaito's. Is this another ultimate lab? That must be. Got it. Finally, looks like my research lab. Ah. Uh. Kaito. Uh. Yeah, those stars were long and such a pain. Oh, those stairs were long and such a pain. I'm tired. Someone give me a payback ride. <sighs> I mean, just climb all these stairs just for the ultimate astronaut slab. Hey. Why do you mean just? This is the main stage, and it's finally being revealed. Hey. I I'm tired. Hey, someone, give me a piggyback ride. Hey. Hey, well, let's go inside. There may be something useful in here. Probably. Don't screw around! What do you mean, probably? It's gonna be full of super important stuff. Hey! Hey, isn't anyone gonna give me a piggyback ride? Shut up! I'm not giving you a piggyback ride! Um, let's go inside then. <laughs> but yeah, that staircase were long. Holy shit. Um, oh, cool. Okay, what can we look at? Um, oh, we can't look at that the thing over there. Oh, we can look at the windows. There's a window. I can see the school in the courtyard. Mm. It's pretty high up. But I guess that's obvious from how tall the staircase is. Hey. Looks like this is the top floor. Oh. So my room's at the very top. Then? Yeah, so what? <laughs> um. Then we have this thing. Plant. Planetarium device. I think that's like projecting all the stars and shit. It's a large machine. Perhaps for a planetarium? You can project stars on the ceiling with us. It's quite the facility. Then we have the cockpit. Hmm. This is amazing. It looks like a cockpit. <laughs> Fit for a spaceship! Mm. It's pretty cool. Perfect for my research lab. You. You can operate this? I mean, it's probably just a simulator, but... Ah. Yeah, I've never seen this machine. But I've trained with something like it. Got it. Well, I guess it'll all work out. What reckless confidence. I don't even want to be in any vehicles you're driving. You know... But, wow, is this really similar? I feel like it's too elaborate. Is this whole, like, fucking school or building or whatever gonna be like a spaceship? And, like, this is actually, like, the control panel? <laughs> nah. Nah, no way it's real. I mean, why, what would it even operate? I mean... <laughs> at that moment... Hey. Hey, come look at this. Huh? Something wrong? Well... I found this in the back. Huh? What is this? A file? The Gopher Project. No. Oh. Countries from all over the world work together to create a meteorite defense plan. But none of us can remember the details of that. Hmm. So this file has information about the project. What? So what does it say? Uh. Okay. Hold on, I'll read it. Uh, um... Let's see. The Gopher Project. Last hope to save humanity from the disaster raining down from space. Burdened with the imperative imper project are boys and girls of extreme talent. That is the purpose of the Gopher Project. Hey! Oh, well, what about the rest of it? What's it say? Hey! Don't tease us, just say it already. Well, that's... The rest is all blacked out. I can't read any further. Oh, wow, what a troll. Yeah. What did you say? Damn. Did Makuma do this? Can he just spurn around with us? Hey. Do you think this part about boys and girls of exceptional talent? Is it referring to us? Hey. What could the seeds of future hope mean? What about this new world? Is this... This is like Noah's Ark. Oh. Huh? Noah's Ark? Because. Well, Noah's Ark was built with gopher wood. Oh. So. What? Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. Of course, it's just a story from the Bible. Chew that name in particular. Hmm. It does seem related. But how is all of this related to the Academy? To us? Yeah. None of this makes sense. Well. But you find the next flashback light, we might be able to remember something about it. <laughs> Now that you mention it, where is it? It doesn't seem like it's in the lab. All right. So it must be somewhere else. We gotta go look for it. That's true. You're right. This place is useless to us now. 
so... I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Cause we gotta find a flashback light. Great, okay. A flashback light. Our last hope. But if something that Monokuma created, I wanna depend on something that Monokuma has touch. But there's nothing we can do. There's no way to restore our memories. Or there's no other way to restore our memories, okay. Well, this place is cool. Um, do we need to go down the long staircase again? Oh boy, okay. Oh god, okay. Fifth floor, oh. Four, oh wow, okay. Third floor, cool. <laughs> Second floor. First floor, and we are here. Okay, good. Okay, now where do we go? Um, assuming they're all gone. Oh! Found it. Oh! I found you too! Hello. How do I? Oh no! Am I too far? Hello. Hello. There. We go. Yeah. Okay. Now where do we go? Oh. Keyhole. Extravagant door. I feel like this one, right? Yeah. Hmm. Oh. The key works, but it won't turn. Oh. Could it be? Picking? Hey, get the fuck out of there! It's gonna explode. Something dangerous. I hurried back away from the door, and then. Whoa! It exploded. The trap. That was dangerous. Hmm. I could have really been hurt. Oh. This looks like hell. <laughs> this looks like fucking hell. Which is weird, because we're up and we're not down, but. And look at this door, it must be an ultimate light. Oh, this Kokichi's? Whose lab is this? There are only a few of us left who don't have labs. Alright! I should check inside. When I turn the knob. Oh. Hmm. Huh? It won't open. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that research lab is closed because its owner is dead. Oh? Huh? The owner is dead? Hey, um. Per the rules, if a student dies before their ultimate research lab is open, then the lab will remain closed. That's. That's the first time I'm hearing this. Yeah. That's because it's the first time I'm mentioning it. There's no point in complaining to Monokuma. This is his academy. So is that Rantaro's? Because I'm thinking through Kaede has hers open. Ryoma and Kurumi, they had theirs. Angie, Tenko, Kyo, Miyu, and Gonta. They all had theirs open. Is Rantaro really the villain? Cause that that looks like fucking hell. That door just looks like hell and darkness and evil. So, anyway, this lab belongs to someone who died. Then, is this Rantara's lab? Aww. How disappointing, you know what his talent, oh, you know what his talent was if he went in his lab. <laughs> It'd be quite a dramatic development if you learned what his talent was right now. Huh? What does that mean? Hmm? Yes, what does that mean? To tell you the truth. That sort of unexpected development can only happen if a, in a real killing game like this one. Oh, well, what a waste. I can't believe that idiot killed him. Rantara's lab. I'm curious about his talent, but... It's too late now. Okay. Well... So that was his lab that we don't get to see. Where do we go now? Um... Oh! Oh, I can't teleport outside. Fuck! Fine, we will walk down the stairs. 
But seriously, that looked like fucking hell. Like, I mean, Rentaro was like green. Like, I mean, his hair was green. He kind of like gave off like the green color tone, you know? Is this the right way? Yeah, okay. Um, so I would have thought that like his would have been like someone matching, you know? We also didn't know his talent, so maybe that's why, but. Is Rentaro really gonna be the mastermind in this? Because I, I mean, cause that, cause that door looked suspiciously evil. Like, <laughs> I know I can't be the only one who's thinking that. Like with the whole red black color scheme. I don't know. Okay, holy shit. Okay, um, I'm almost out. Okay. <laughs> but yeah, that definitely does raise some questions. Marantaro. Uh, here we go. The greener is completely gone. This place really feels mechanical now. The light construction is almost done, but what happens then? I don't know. An ultimate academy, the likes of which we've never seen before. Will we ever find out what that means? Don't know. Um. No. Wait. 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 wait are I supposed to go past where? I don't know where I'm going. Oh wait, no. People are here. Oh, I wonder where that go. Uh, Kibo. Oh, is this thing? Has this been here the whole time? Am I stupid? Cause I, I, I do not remember seeing this ever. Did they just put this in? <laughs> cause, cause I do not remember this at all. It looks like a door, but I don't think I can open this with my bare hands. You know, show you have the key. Oh, oh. Got the key. Sound with the giant door unlocking. Hey, going now. What the fuck is the cyber courtyard? Ah, what is this place? This is. I feel like I'm on a set of a sci-fi movie. A mecha could pop out at any moment. It took every ounce of my strength to hold in what I wanted to say. Okay, well, seriously, tell me, was, that, was this here the whole time? Or am I completely stupid and just did not notice this place at all? I hope it's a first one. <laughs> um. Hey, what? Oh, hi. Holy shit. I'm like, you're here. Um. Okay. Holy shit, this place is huge. Um... Where are we? I mean, we're in a cyber quarter, but what does this mean? Oh, shit! What is this? This shutter is huge! This is... It seems to be well fortified. Hmm... That is an electric barrier. You can't raise the shutter while it's activated. Hey! They're protecting it this strongly. There must be some secret in there. Yes. That's a possibility. Let's investigate to see if we can get in. Ah! Oh, wait, it's dangerous! Don't! Before I could finish my warning, Kibo approached shutter and. <laughs> what is this? Kibo! Kibo, get away from! Oh my, tis tis tis. Don't you go setting off for the alarms now. Okay, okay. Come on, come on, out of the way so I can turn off the alarm. There we go. Jeez, you guys gotta be more careful. Huh? Be 
Careful, what was that alarm for? It was so loud. Yeah. Oh, that's the alarm system. <laughs> Clearly. You see, that motion sensor alarm above the shutter. Oh my. In order to turn it off, you need to use an alarm remote. Hey, um. A super loud alarm will blare if you approach the shutter without turning off the system. Why? Why is there an alarm system here of all places? <laughs> this place is so important that it needs to be f it needs beefed up security. I guess while I'm here, I'll also explain the electric barrier. Oh. Hey, um. Turn it off. You gotta enter a 59-digit code in the control panel next to the shutter. 59. Holy shit. I'll tell you what the code is, but only once. So make sure you remember it. Oh shit. I'm not remembering any of that. Oh! Do you see that? 11037! On the bottom! Like, first row at the bottom! That was intentional and you fucking know it. Hey! Wait, slow down, please. 503, what's the rest? <laughs> Only three numbers? Come on, robot. I know you can do better than that. Unless your barrier has an alarm system? That's pretty hot, tight security. Why? Why are they guarding so closely? Who could be in there? Here. Like I said, this is a very important place. My mood is Well, swimming. it used to be important, but that was a long time ago. Now it's just pointless. Oh. Huh? Pointless? Yeah, yeah! Yep, it's pointless, so I may as well give you the guys the alarm code. You can use it to turn off the emotion sensor above the alarm. Or about the shutter. Right. See, it's turned off the alarm system, didn't it? Now just use the control panel to deactivate the lock barrier, and you can go inside. Hmm. Um, can you repeat the code you mentioned earlier? What? Huh? How annoying! But since it's your first visit, I'll let you inside just this once. I'm gonna walk to the control panel, quickly punch it into numbers, and. Okay, now you got just now you just gotta manually raise the shutter so you can go inside. You gotta use the control panel inside to restore the alarm system and the electric barrier. Or just use the control panel out here. Or do nothing and the barrier will and alarm will stay off. Now then. Well then, safe travels. Okay, good. I'm glad I don't even remem remember that because I wasn't going to. He just led us into this highly secured area. What's this game? Shuichi! Let's go, Shuichi. We have no other direction but to move forward. My inner voice is telling me hope is forward. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Ek oh! Exile hanger. Ah, uh, over there! It's. Uh. An Exosol! Oh no! Oh, five of them are here! It's too dangerous, let's run! Ah! Uh. Wait a sec. Hmm. They aren't moving. They're not reacting to us and the lights are off. That's right. Oh, now that you mention it, you're right. I wonder what's going on. <laughs> Surprise! This is actually the Exile Hangar. Yep, this is where the Exiles, Exiles are stored. A facility for storing Exiles? Hey, um... This is where I was guarding the precious Exile so no one can mess with them. Wah, wah, wah. But... Uh, it's pointless now. That's... Is it because the monocles are gone? No one can control the Exiles anymore? Huh? What? And no one can control them anymore? Huh? Am I wrong? Well, well. Oh, don't worry about my reaction just now. I thought a somewhat over-the-top reaction would put you guys on the defense. Do not mock me! What does that mean? Now, now, don't get so worked up. You may be a machine, but you're not a demon model. Damn. So they're useless now. The deactivated exiles. Is, is this hangar pointless now that the monocrypts are gone? If that's true, it's not. Is nothing threatening us anymore? I do not know. Okay. Um. Oh, operation panel. Ah, the control panel. 
That's... This is most likely the control panel for the alarm system and electric barrier. Hmm. Yeah, seems like it. There's no reason to turn the barrier back on, so we shouldn't touch it. Mm -hmm. uh, are you saying that because I don't have the 59-digit code to deactivate and memorize? Because all robots can memorize more than three digits. Is that what you're implying? No. No? <laughs> um, XL. I'll only look at one because I pressure their eyes. I'm gonna say the same shit. All five XLs are being stored here right now. They're moving at all. Are the XLs not gonna move anymore? Are they no longer gonna be used against us? I feel like that's the case. Uh, now we have a door? What's this door? Oh, it's a fucking bathroom. <laughs> this is a bathroom. It doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. That's good. Well, I suppose it makes sense. I'm sure I'm the first person to be in here for a while. When coming to Monica, I certainly don't need to use the bathroom. Or do they? But then why is there a bathroom here in the first place? If they were under the impression we would never be here, why make a bathroom? Hmm. Does that mean I was wrong? Well, there's nothing that concerns me here, so I'll go back out. Okay. Um... What else is... Wash machine? It's still like a car wash. Is it for cleaning x -Files? Oh, cool. This is... That seems, that seems comfortable. Oh. Can Kibo use it? <laughs> comfortable, huh? Um, and then we have... Wait, oh. Uh, I swear I saw a painting machine. Oh, painting machine, yeah, okay. This huge machine has several moving arms. What is it used for? This is... This machine is probably used to paint the X-Cells. You're right. All right. It does kind of look like... Kind of smell like paint thinner. Um... Which means I could potentially use the machine to give myself a makeover. Oh, yeah, do that! No. I don't think you need a makeover. You're great just the way you are, Kibo. Oh, that's sweet, actually. Yeah. Well, of course I am. Oh. <laughs> then why bring it up? Um, and then we have... Hydraulic press... Oh, shit, that's in here. This is a huge, powerful machine. That's... This hydraulic press is probably used to scrap decommissioned x -cells. Huh? Scrap them? Yeah. Yes, even the x could not withstand being crushed by a giant metal stab. The slab. You're right. True. By the way... Also, it seems you can control the hydraulic press under the control panel over there. Hmm... There's an up and down button as well as an emergency stop button. So the safety note is written here. The hydraulic press has an infrared sensor when it detects 11 beam. It automatically stops for safety reasons. That's true. If someone ended up in the press, the machine would stop. Um... What do you think, Shuichi? Huh? Oh, it's a safety function? I don't know. Well then... Let's give it a try. What? Uh, um... Try what? As I stood there confused, Kibo suddenly got under the pr KIBO! Shuichi, please! Please what? No! If the press comes to a stop when it detects a person, what will happen if it detects me? Probably nothing, no offense, you're a robot. Let's find out. That's no, not. Are you sure about that? I don't know if the sensor will I don't work. think it will. Don't worry. If I sense any danger, I'll move out of the way. I just really want to try it out. If I don't, I'll never be able to rust in peace when I die. <laughs> rust in peace. Okay, that's funny. But no, why do we have to do this? It doesn't end up killing you. We become the blackened. He's not going to change his mind about this. That would actually be a plot twist, though. Okay, let's do it. But get out of there if it's dangerous, okay? Certainly. Now, if you would be so kind, start it up. I don't like this. Convinced by Kiba's enthusiasm, I pressed the button. Screech you, dumbass. And then... Oh god, 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 oh, 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 o
that was a close one. Why didn't fucking Shuichi press the stop button? Holy shit! Wait! Yes, it was! Why do you do that? Why? Why didn't you press the forward stop button, Shuichi? Why did any of this have to happen? <laughs> It's not my fault! It kind of, it was both your faults, actually. You both are very stupid. But... At least now we know. Unfortunately... It seems I'm only perceived as a machine, not a human. For now... What do they have to press that is? You're right. Yeah. I investigate everything here. This is definitely a hangar for the X-Files, but they're deactivated. My Kuma might be right. This place has no purpose. Hey, Suichi. There you are. I was looking for you. Hey. Hey, come to the dining hall. Smoogie says she wants everyone to meet there. Huh? Smoogie. Right. She told me she found something. It's probably the flashback light. Okay. Anyway, come as soon as you can. I'm gonna go on ahead. Okay. The next flashback light. What will you remember this time? All right. I should head to the dining hall. Yeah. Excuse me. Um, will I be able to just like talk her over there? <laughs> oh, I mean, I do have to teleport here and then. Oops. Yeah, so that hydraulic press, not a smart idea on Kibo and Shuichi's part. Actually, they both should have not done that at all. That was very stupid of both of them. Just saying. Right? Is everyone here? Guys, this is serious. Ah. Yeah, you found the flashback light, didn't you? Let's use it already. What? Oh, sorry. It's not the flashback light. Huh? It's not? I honestly thought that was what it was about. What's that mean? Then why did you call us all here? I had to go to the bathroom. No. I found something pretty serious. I thought you'd tell everyone right away. Pretty serious? What happened? Um. So what do you find? It's from that one thing. Those letters gone to found in the courtyard. There's more added to them again. Oh, yes. Huh? The letters in the courtyard? It looks like the message is complete now. We can finally read it. And it says... This world is mine. Kogichioma. That's what's written there. What? This world is mine. What's that mean? Well, what's going on? Why is Kokichi's name? <sighs> Uh, so that's what it means. It was all just a prank by Kokichi. Huh? A prank? Ah. He kept adding to the method just so he could make fun of us. Seriously, one messed up guy. Uh. I see. That's, that only seemed like something Kokichi would do. It is true, but... Is that all there is to it? I mean, I definitely don't believe... Oh, Horsa. When Gunda had first found the writing, all I said was... Horsa. Over time, more letters were added. Eventually, it read, This world is mine, Kokichioma. Can we just ascribe it as Kokichi's pranks? You know. Well, who cares about Kokichi? More importantly, what about the flashback light? Hmm. It seems no one has found it yet. Hmm. Maybe that's Kokichi's fault, too. He probably found it first and hit it. I see. That is a possible. Like I thought. When you do something to find him. Ah. No, there's no need to bother with him. The best way to deal with that guy, with guys like him, is to ignore them. So just leave him be. What's wrong? You say that, but you were the angriest out of all of us. Ah. Nah, there was just something I was just thinking about. What? Thinking about? I mean... It's just, it's still a little too early to tell you guys, but... Leave it to me! Well, just leave it to me. There's no need for you guys to worry. I'll figure it out. What are you talking about? Figure what out? 
Hey guys! I mean, I'm gonna get you guys out of here. Kaito, you didn't get us out of here? Mm -hmm. There's the reckless confidence again. Huh? Reckless? Huh. Huh. You guys just don't get it. These heroes are always misunderstood. Hey. Heroes or whatever, it doesn't matter. Just don't overdo it. Of course! Yeah, leave it to me. Okay. Perhaps Kaito's confidence is baseless. But it's sort of a relief to have someone so confident in a town like this. A hero. He might really be one. Eh. Debatable. We weren't able to find a flashback light, so we all left the dining hall. And returned to our rooms. Okay. There's some time left today. Hmm. So what should I do? Okay, um... I'm actually going to end it here. And in the next part, we'll start free time. We will have to do someone new because the last person I talked to died right before I could finish talking to her. Um... And I actually know who I'm going to talk to. Actually, there's someone I want to talk to. Um... Yeah, so I already have someone in mind, but... Who is it? I mean, there, I think there's only like four choices because I would already finished two of the people alive, so... Um, the options aren't really a lot, but, yeah. Um, I have someone who I want to talk to, and we will talk to them next time. So, yeah. That's it.